Hector gains the upper hand in the Battle of Valor. Taking the lead, Hector moves straight toward the Dragon's Gate. Before his eyes, eerie ruins appear. What could they be? Are they connected to Nurgle? If they overlook any enemy lurking within, they could be attacked from the rear. Without pause, they open the rusty steel door and step inside. Chapter 32X, The Value of Life What do you want, monster? You can't fight. You can't harvest quintessence. Powerless and frail. You're not but a false puppet. Pale imitation. Is this all I was capable of creating in the past? This fool? <laughs> Absolutely worthless. You are my blunder. My failed morph. But you are no use to me. Go somewhere and rot away into dust. More of them! There's still some morphs left? So this must be Nurgle's doing too. Hey, Lord Hector! There's a strange power moving to this area. What do you mean, strange? I I'm not sure, but... Don't you remember, Hector? That strange feeling that made us all irritable and easy. We felt it once before. When was that? In the ruins, near the Dragon's Gate. It felt a little odd, and suddenly, there was that area where all magic was suppressed. Nullified. Ah, now I remember. It's that time that Lynn and I got into it over my armor, right? That's it. What is that thing? We know it's not human, but something's happening. It's a very powerful emotion filling this area. It's sorrow? Hector, they're moving. I don't know who they are, but it looks like they're after a fight. Show them no mercy. Let's go. Alrighty, so a uh, very brief introduction throws you right into this thing, and uh, obviously we are heading into the the second Magic Seal chapter. I suppose I'm pretty sure it's only the second, um, but yeah, or it might be that might be the third because of that one chapter that we did in in uh, after the Sands of Time or whatever the desert chapter is. Um, so you know, uh, I guess they didn't mention it or it's like you don't get that in Hector. I don't I don't remember to be quite honest with you. But this is a Hector exclusive chapter. It's after Victory or Death, obviously, and we get Kashuna and a whole bunch of pre promotes or uh, second tier units here. They're all kind of shitty. See, this guy's pretty uh, pretty scary there. Um, according, or uh, compared to my units, he's not really anything fantastic. I totally forgot about this. <laughs> all right, so we'll go over my units in just a second. These are my Pride and Joy units right here. Uh, they're not to their full potential yet, but we'll, we'll see that later. Um, obviously, uh, we got Hector, who's pretty damn good already, level 10. Great speed, great strength, defense. All around fantastic. Ellie Wood, same deal. Pretty good. 17. Max uh, strength already. Lynn, max strength. Pretty damn good all around. Uh, low defense res, like usual, but that's fine. Oswin, pretty good all around, too. Pretty good speed for a general. Not super strong either, but good defense and res. And Bartree, level 19. So he could be a little better than he is. No max no max stats at all, but 23 defense for a fighter is pretty, pretty awesome. 19 speed, also pretty good. And uh, the rest here is uh, just some cheeky little nonsense. We got Legault as an assassin. Pretty bad strength, but, you know, that's all right. Almost 30 speed. Uh, we got Rebecca the Sniper. Pretty darn good. Wallace, just because. I've never used him before, but uh, he <laughs> he's not, really not as good as, uh, as Oswin uh, in, in terms of speed, of course. So we got Sane. And we got Sarah. Guy was a little late uh, bloomer. I don't think I used him too much, but uh, he's there. Actually, I, I guess I used him a lot. Florina was the one I didn't really use too much, level 9. And we got Pent, of course, like always. We'll just make short short use of this chapter. And, of course, since there's Magic Seal, I didn't even bother with a healer since basically the entire map is sealed. So we're just going to go straight into this. No no planning at all. No nothing. We got uh, Lynn over here. Can't do, can't do jack, really. 
Alrighty, so we're cutting off the uh, live commentary a little short, actually quite short, in fact. Um, but I just, I, I wasn't really pleased with the, um, with the commentary I provided for this chapter, and I've been kind of feeling this way for a while now. But um, I just, I keep, I just want to finish the series, to be quite honest. And and like the reason I say that is, I just feel like the way I'm doing these videos. Uh, isn't really kind of fitting for the way that I'm like executing if that makes any sense like the record for an hour and play through an entire Fire Emblem chapter isn't really working for me at least in my opinion and I just kind of I don't know wanted to bring it up uh, I've been thinking about like switching up the style because I really would like um, these to be more entertaining because for me, I just feel like the more short and concise things are, um, the more satisfying it is, the, it saves time, and it's just more pleasant to watch, in my opinion. I might be wrong, uh, you know, to some people, but that's just kind of how I feel about it. And the way I'm going about it doesn't really make sense to me because half the time I'm sitting here either thinking of something to say relevant and entertaining or just complaining about level ups, missing, hitting, that sort of deal in the game and it's just kind of all the same and repetitive to where the f sometimes I don't even say anything for a while and just kind of make short updates after a couple moves or something which I feel isn't <laughs> valuable either in a sense if you know what I mean by that um, I mean because you've seen uh, I've obviously been making cuts in some of these and like cutting out silent bits or parts that don't really matter basically cutting to parts where I actually am talking and I feel like that's I mean it saves time yeah but at the same time it creates a lot more effort for me to go through all of this and edit it and um, which I mean I'm probably gonna have to do that if I'm gonna switch up my style, which is kind of what I've been thinking I want to do. I'm not sure exactly how I would switch it up, but I <laughs> I'm kind of like trying to re envision the way I'm doing these. I, I've had some ideas before, but um, ironically, they're not coming into, into fruition here. Um, <laughs> I just can't. I just I don't know if I can't think of it or if they just weren't good ideas, because well, honestly, what else am I gonna do? But, um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't, I don't want to do, like, the short, sto short style thing. I want to keep doing, like, let's play sort of stuff for Fire Emblem. Like, I don't want to do character spotlights or this is what happens in Fire Emblem sort of videos like, uh, Mangs and Ghasts, I guess. That's just kind of not really my speed. I'm more, f I, I, I do want to show my gameplay and my tactics or whatever you want to call it and uh, I just don't want to bore people with my commentary that's where really where I'm coming from here but um yeah so in the future uh, look how I guess for some change uh, I'm still not exactly how sure how that's gonna work but um I mean that's kind of what I'm dealing with here I don't know if like I want to bring other people into the LP I mean I feel like that would be definitely more entertaining but it would slow down production even more trying to plan a uh, recording which would suck because I mean it takes me forever to do these as it is as you may know started this series um, about three years ago a little over three years ago I think and that's kind of ridiculous for a 30 chapter final game. And granted I did, you know, a lot happened over those years and I'm not super dedicated to uploading consistently. So, I mean there's that. I moved across the country twice. I graduated high school. I had uh, complicated relationship stuff and the save got deleted at one point so I had to start over. So I mean like... I guess it's justified, but at the same time, I mean, what the hell. So, I mean, yeah, this is kind of bringing the game to an end. This is like the last little, the last chapter before the final chapter. I keep saying weird stuff like that, and I hope you understand. And chances are you do. If you're watching this, you know what this game is, so. Yeah, this chapter is just nice to give me a little moment to sit down and talk. I don't really normally do post-commentary like this, and maybe it's something that I should look into, um... 
doing since I'm wanting to kind of switch up the style a little bit and the live comm is just like all right land go and do this all right go unlock this chest I don't know if the game is too easy I don't know if I'm just not very entertaining while playing I don't know really what exactly is my problem however I do know that I would like it to change because I just don't feel like it's effective and it's kind of like a waste of time to be honest but um yeah uh, but hopefully after this, I, I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing. I think directly after this, I'll probably be looking at um, doing the Sacred Stones creator creator creature campaign. Um, I guess I don't know how uh, warranted this announcement is in this video since it's just another part of this series. I mean, but yeah, like I said, this chapter just gives me a moment to sit down and breathe, I guess, a little bit. Because the next chapter is going to be full of just that. So, I mean, got to make some dazzling finale and hopefully, I don't know. Like, I've been messing around with the voices, if you saw in the Sacred Stones in the beginning of this chapter. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see any reason not to. It's it's pretty fun, I won't lie. It's, uh, it's fun doing a little voice acting and then manipulating things to do a little creepy voice or something you know like a demon a demon king or a nurgle or something but yeah we'll see where that goes and i guess just move from there i don't really see any reason not to but i'm not going to overuse it like in every single chapter that would be one a lot of work and two kind of pointless so those are just a couple things that have been running through my head while playing this game lately and uh whatever it was is probably more entertaining than whatever it was i was saying in the actual video so yeah i appreciate you if you watch these videos if you like them whatever and uh, just thank you for watching in general and uh, uh to be honest some of the things i said were a little dated and i just kind of was frustrated at the time so i don't know what's going to happen with the, ch the style of my videos in the future so i guess we'll just have to wait and see i'll hand it off to my live commentary self with shitty mic quality i don't know i'll have to look into that all right, with some quick research that is in this chest in here is a rune sword. I'm not going to restart just to get it because, like I said, this file doesn't really matter. Um, but I thought I'd tell you because that's kind of the whole point of this uh, playthrough. Just to just showcase what uh, what's going on, you know what I mean? And we're almost there. I'm <laughs> I would be pretty mad if I didn't have a door key, but uh, I do have one and they do give you one. So, I mean, that's that. I'm not going to put Osborne there because he's not... Does not have the greatest chance to hit, you see. And there is some more levels for Lynn. What is her bow rank? B, pretty good. She's almost got max speed, I think. Um, that's gonna be her only other chance for max stats, which is totally fine with me. Max speed is pretty damn good, of course. And uh, I can't. Hector can't move quick enough to get in there and kill that thing, but that's all right. And we got one archer left, okay. Or not. Archer can get rid of that guy. Link can get rid of that guy. Elliewood can get rid of this guy. And the turn. And that's, uh... These guys fun in with bolting, that's kind of annoying, but their stats are absolutely terrible. Like, worse, worse than Priscilla. <laughs> worse than Priscilla, and that's pretty pretty bad um, hmm Lynn can easily kill him with that and then we could try maybe a little bit of that or maybe a little of that or probably a little bit of that honestly don't know how much does a silver axe do not very reliable so Lynn's kind of the best way to go here if I had a curling edge that would probably work but I don't really feel like getting it out Dot dot dot. Oh, and there's a there's a crit. Kill him in one shot. So yeah, poor Kashuna. All he wanted was his master's love, but Nurgle was like, "You piece of shit. You're not worth nothing." And there's Max Speed. Great job, Lindis. I don't know if my uh, Lindis in the uh, actual Hector playthrough that I was doing when I beat the game did that, but uh, you know, everybody, are you ready? Once we get through here, it's on to the Dragon's Gate in the final battle. Here we go. Time to crush Nurgle's ambitions. All right. Well, that was very short and sweet. There no, hardly no dialogue at all because uh, it's not really plot 
uh, relative, plot's important, you know, all the stuff to the main game because it's obviously not in the main game. But uh, yeah, there's chapter 32X for you in between Sands of Time, or I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, chapter 30 and chapter 31, which is the final chapter in Eliwood's story. So thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you uh, join us for the final chapter. So yes, I will see you in the next one.